I tend to prefer a more challenging path. Thanks to my father's work as a photographer, I grew up doing a lot of backpacking in Taiwan and traveling abroad. These experiences helped instill in me an appreciation for cultural differences and fostered a curiosity about people. I used to play piano in Sunday school for preschool-aged kids. I became really curious about how children acquire language. I studied psychology as an undergraduate student at National Taiwan University, where I worked full-time at a research lab focused on language development in babies. I loved that research, and it was through this lab that I was introduced to the field of speech-language hearing sciences. There was no college in Taiwan where I could pursue a doctoral degree in this field, so I started looking for schools in the U.S. That's how I came across the John Lab here at the U, which brought me to Minnesota to get my PhD in speech language hearing sciences. During my PhD studies, I started to take hearing-related courses and observe in the Shaveling Clinic, and I realized through working with a lot of undergraduate student researchers that research and clinical audiology can be combined to broaden our views as future clinicians, researchers, educators, and even through industry, helping develop better devices and services for people who deserve to hear better. Since earning my PhD in speech language hearing sciences last year, I've gone on to pursue a second graduate degree from the department. This time, a doctoral degree in audiology. Though I'm not sure yet where I will land in the job market, I do know my optimal work environment is one that is collaborative, somewhere people can share their ideas freely, without fear of judgment, where every voice is respected and heard. I've experienced that here, and no matter where my path takes me, I will carry those values into the field of speech language hearing senses.